Hey, welcome to the channel where we show you how to put some prep in your step. Today I want to talk about uh, parameters in prep. This is something that when I first noticed it in the beta, I was really excited about because there's actually a lot of different ways that you can use this. You can use it in uh, your input step as far as your um, your file paths or your if you have custom SQL inputs, you can use it as variables in the SQL query. Um, you can use it in your output in the name of your data source. You can use it in the, def the location. Um, and you can even use it in filters and calculated fields throughout the flow. Um, so let's just dive in and take a quick look at this new feature. So I've got the uh, documentation, the help page pulled up here, just to kind of quickly go over the, the new parameters. And you can see really what I wanted to highlight here is, is this right here, where can you apply them? And so this shows you which steps that you can apply the parameters in and how you can make use of them there. So this is just kind of a quick reference to keep in mind if you're kind of wondering how you would use those. And when you're strategizing a new flow or a process, just kind of think about how you can use parameters to help it throughout the flow. Um, one of the other things that's also really good to note here is if I can quickly find it, there is actually the ability to also use this if you use um, the command line automation. So you can see here, uh, if I go back to the uh, command line page, which we've touched on in a previous video, um, you can see now when we scroll down a little bit, there is now this extra little tidbit here that you can use to actually set the parameter values. And so this still helps us keep some automation if there are, if for those of us that use prep that may not have prep conductor and you need to use the command line to automate some of those flows. Or if you have data sources, uh, like I do, one of the challenges I face being a Tableau online user is that uh, we can't connect directly to our on-prem data without using Tableau Bridge. And this isn't always uh, the right way to go um, when you're trying to schedule your flows. Sometimes the command line is just the better way since you can have that direct access, especially if it's a SQL server. And so this is something that you can also use to really uh, input those parameter values in case you ever need to go back and change them. Um, it, it, that way you don't really have to change the structure of the flow itself, you're just changing that value. One example that I can think of in this case is um, one of the flows that we have calculates our labor rate. And our labor rate is not something that we have that's automated in a table anywhere or from the system. It's something that uh, at some point in the month, our finance team determines, okay, this is the labor rate. And so this is makes it easy for us to just open that up real quick uh, edit the labor rate and then move on with our day. So uh, now that we've touched on that a little bit, let's see what this looks like in the flow. So like I said, we're just going to do just kind of a quick overview of this because there's so many different ways that you can use this. Um, but let's say uh, you know, the, the more general example, we've got superstore sales here. And what if I just want my output to contain one region of data? Um, and sometimes, you know, I, it's not necessarily that I need an automated data source that's, you know, taking up resources constantly. It's just something that I have to run every now and then, but I don't necessarily want to open four different flows. Um, so this just makes it real quick and easy. So what I can do here right before my input, um, actually first, you'll notice this, uh, this new icon here. So this is your parameters icon. And so if I click here, I can create a parameter and let's just call this region. Actually, we'll call it region parameter. I want this to be a string and I want it to be a list. And so we'll say central, south, east, west. And so you'll also notice this box pop up, prompt for value at runtime. So if this box is not checked, that means that it's not required to set this value when you run uh, the flow. But if it is uh, prompted or checked, then, then you do need to set it or it's going to give you that pop-up every time you run the flow. So now that we've got it, you'll also notice here, there's this set and a number in brackets. So this will tell you whenever you're changing your value, where how many areas that you're going to set this value in, and then you'll be able to view where it's affecting your flow. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a filter and I'm gonna say my region needs to equal my region parameter. Okay. And so now when I go to run my flow, you see it's gonna say required parameters. And so if I go click central, then it's gonna tell me to set it. And now I can run my flow. Um, so that's just one way to use it in a filter. Uh, but what if I also want my output to contain the name that I filtered to? 
Uh, I can also set that here in my output step. If I go to my name, I can add this little dash, then you'll notice the parameter symbol pops up there. And so I can set the region parameter there. And so since I'm setting it to uh, central now, my data will be pre-filtered to central and the data source will also have that in the name. Um, what if I was outputting this to a file though? If I was outputting this to a file, see it's got my prep repository, but if I had a, other, um, a location for my separate regions, I can also add that parameter to the file path. And so now I can have my data set pre-filtered to this to my selected parameter, and that'll be notified in the data source name, and it'll also save to that location for those specific data sources. Um, so these are a couple of really good ways to use parameters, and it's also, now that this is something that's available to you, I mean, you, like I said, you can, if you've got um, variable rates or variable values that are gonna change, but you don't wanna go in and have to change your flow, and, and just something that you still want to be able to manage and keep track of, that's what the parameters really help you do. They help you, um, use it in a way that's more visible um, and easier to keep track of. And so, you know, I'm sure the longer this is out, we're going to see a lot more uh, helpful ways to use this. Um, but, you know, just like I said, just a quick overview today. If you want to see some specific use cases, let me know. Um, if I hope you're getting some useful information from the channel. Um, always open to suggestions. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one.